Hi angels, welcome back. So I need to apologize to you. I am a hot mess today. I have had a like four day migraine. As you guys know, if you follow along on like my social media, which if you don't, I'm gonna try and put it up here. Um, I have been eating off my usual typical. So I've been trying to like add in more foods and it has not worked for me. I am struggling. Um, it is really hard for me to make it through the day. So I do have coffee over here. I'm struggling with energy, migraines. My head has so much pressure in it. Um, I'm not sick. I'm just going literally through a flare and it sucks. So any of you who have autoimmune know what this feels like. It's hard. So I've been trying to create a lot of content, still work and get everything done. But it's a lot when you're going through a flare just to make it through the day, let alone work on top of that. So it just is what it is and I'm trying to do my best. So I hope you're doing well um, and I hope you had a great rest of your summer. We're heading into fall. We got those fall vibes going on. And um, I invited you guys to make my fall tray with me. So I'm gonna show you my fall tray. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm totally joking you guys. This is not the fall tray. Um, the fall tray is actually going to be pretty big because what I want to do, and this is like kind of the vision I had for fall time, is to be able to wear a different fragrance every single day in fall. So, or every single day of that month. So we're going to take a look. I'm going to build the rest of September and then we will build an October tray as well. I do have over, I think I have over a hundred bottles as of today that are full size. Um, I'm gonna be doing a perfume collection tour where I show you guys everything that I have um, and talk briefly about it or maybe I'll just show you guys what I have because I feel like that's gonna be kind of like a long video. I can talk about the different houses. I do tend to be one of those people where if I find a house that I really like, I'll buy within the house. I do the same thing with clothing. If I find a certain clothing style I really love, I'll buy every color of it. Um, I'll buy every style of it. It's just, it's something that I've always done. It's just how I am. And I'm curious, like if you guys are the same way, drop it in the comments. I love hearing from you guys, like, you know, that I'm not the only weirdo out there. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing that video for you guys. I'm really excited about it. Um, I've been prepping for it, but I do have a really exciting haul coming um, that I only did for one reason and one reason only is because I really, 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 really needed to smell these specific perfumes. And I'm going to ruin the haul for you in this video because I care about you and I love you and I want you to know what's coming next. I bought the house of Siege had a deal one day for cream chiffon was 50% off. I wasn't sold. I was like, you know what? I can live without cream chiffon. I think I was talking to Chris AB on here and I was like, I'm not sold. I'm not gonna do it. And then the next day, and this is why if you do like House of Siage, please check their website super, super often because I find that deals change from day to day to day. Like today they have Batman's all on sale, lip liner, lip, not lip gloss, but lipsticks are on sale. So, um, if you are a huge fan of HOS, House of Siage, then I would totally look into checking out their website often until you find what you love that has gone on sale because everything cycles through on sale on their website, I have found. So I'm hoping and praying that Mickey, or not Mickey, I have Mickey, that mini goes on sale. Um, it is a limited edition, much like Wonder Woman, much like Batman. And I have a feeling though that there's so many Disney lovers that it's probably gonna sell out. I just have this feeling. But um, I took a look at the notes and I fell in love with the notes. And so here's what I decided to do is, okay, anyways, back to my story because I gotta finish that story. You guys know how this goes. Too many stories going on. So anyways, I went on House of Siage, saw Cream Chiffon, decided to wait. Um, and then the very next day, literally the next morning, I get an advertisement saying that not just cream chiffon was on sale, but also the other, um, what is it called? There was another one that's the same style. It came out around the same time as cream chiffon. And I was like, okay, done deal. These two are both on sale. So I ended up buying both of them. Um, and then at the same time, I kind of made this like a dual mission because because I wanted to smell mini so bad and I knew that I'd probably end up wanting to buy mini 
but I'm kind of hoping and praying that mini is not what I think it is. Um, hence why I did order the little teeny decan. It's literally, it was like $25, I think, for a little teeny baby decan of it. Um, and it came with mini, Mickey too. So it's Mickey and mini instead of like the little teeny like couple spray decans. Well worth it because I'd rather spend $25 to know that I'm not missing out than to spend whatever it is right now. It's ridiculous. So I'm like, no, I'm not gonna buy it at full price. I just won't. So I will just, you know, wait. I will hold on and I will wait for a sale. Unless I absolutely need it, which I don't foresee that happening, um, but it may happen, we, don't, we just never know. So I invite you guys, that package arrives tomorrow. I'm inviting you guys to, no matter how I feel, I will show up for you tomorrow um, and I will do that House of Siege haul tomorrow. So I know I look like a hot mess today. I worked this morning, um, went and got my nails done and they've already like scraped and scrapped. <laughs> but she did, she did a good job, they're cute. Um, my toenails are like a very fall color. I'm very in the mood, in the mood, in the mood, in the mood for fall. So we're going to build this fall tray. Um, I'm excited for tomorrow's haul video because House of Siage is notoriously just really, really, really good. And I did get my mommy, it's her birthday next month. So I did get my mommy a cupcake. Um, I know she doesn't watch these videos, so... Yeah, um, I got her some other stuff too. So even if she does happen to watch this video, which I doubt she will, but if she does happen to watch this video, I'm just going to uh, hope that she likes the other stuff that I got her. So anyways, um, <laughs> let's build this this fall tray, shall we? So here's the here's the rules of the fall tray. So I have to wear a different fragrance every single day of the month. So. We're at the 15th, it's September 15th today. I'm already wearing Lee 2 d by Givenchy. Absolutely love it. Um, I hated this perfume before and now I'm just like, oh my God, give it all to me. Um, this is a perfume that is really good in winter, like fall, winter. Hated it in summer. I bought it in the summer and was like, I think I bought it because I saw a Demi video where she was talking about how good it was and how sexy it was and how she wore it on vacation. Guys, it is not a humidity weather. It's not a humid weather fragrance by any means. It is so strong and so like cough syrupy in, in the humidity that I couldn't handle it. So truthfully, if you want to really experience and love it, it is a fall fragrance. So um, I am wearing that today. So this is the 15th. We have 30 days in the month. So we have, let's see if today's the 15th, we have 15 more days. So we're gonna go ahead and pick out 15 fragrances. My math can be so wrong on that. You guys, my, my migraine today is like, <gasps> it's not fun. But I have to unmic, so I'm gonna come back. Um, I may just take you guys with me so you can see my perfume collection. I don't think we've done this yet. Do you feel ready for this? Are we ready to make this next move together? I I feel like this may be a little presumptuous, but do you wanna come on a field trip with me and see my perfume collection? Let's go. So I'm going to take you off of here um, and we are gonna go on a little journey. But before I do that, I do have to show you, not that pink thing in the corner, oh God. Um, this is my Batman candle. You guys probably saw in other videos, I had the House of Siage. Um, a different candle up. I was the Wonder Woman candle. They are fantastic. They smell so good. Um, they're just, they're fabulous candles. So this one smells so incredibly delicious. It is dark, it's mysterious, it's everything I'd want in a candle. So anyways, that is the Batman candle here. And now let's play with perfumes. Let's pick up these 15. Hello, gorgeous angels. Okay, so I'm on the other side of the camera. Probably gonna have to fix the lighting to uh, take you on this journey with me. One moment. Okay, much better, much, much better. Okay, so I have this side. We do also have travel size down here um, and some sample decans, but most of those are gonna be out there. I made like a little sample tray. And then actually I have some of my big size bottles downstairs, but we'll just work with this for today. So I have this side. We have Coco stretching over here. See me Coco. And then we have this side. 
over here. So I got the Zerzhov headquarters. <laughs> um, I have some Zerzhov samples I haven't unpacked yet either. Have uh, Ariana Grande Cloud. Got some Louboutin right here. Got some uh, Parfum de Marley. And of course, the Wilhelm. Um, and then we got the new Prada Paradox and Kelvin Klein, which I talked about in like one of the last videos. So anyways, let's grab uh, actual trays downstairs. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna start grabbing. Um, I've already worn this one. This is what I'm wearing today. So we are going to probably just reapply this because I uh, got my nails done. So I like to wear it on my wrist. And so she kind of like, washed it off when she did my whole lotion situation, the massage part. I love this perfume now, which is so funny because I hated it before. It's so syrupy, it's so good, and look at how badly I already messed up my nail. Disgraceful, I know. Tell me how butchered I am in the comments. <laughs> Just kidding, don't do that. Don't break my heart like that. Um, so I am definitely, definitely going to be enjoying my new, this guy right here, Absolute Aphrodisiac. I talked about this in one of the last videos. This is an absolute must. We're just gonna put them up here. This is an absolute must for the fall collection. It is so stunningly brilliant. I am also going to wear Side Effect. Or no, I'm gonna say that for my October. Just kidding. Tobacco Vini and Side Effect are gonna be more, and even like Intense Cafe, those are gonna be more like once we're deeper into fall. We're not deep into fall yet. So we are gonna do Miss Caroline Herrera. You are gonna be worn one of these days. Um, I think I am gonna do Good Fortune. Mm, no, 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 no. I am gonna do the House of Siage. This one is, oh my God, which one is this? Oh God, I can't even read. Whispers of Seduction, Noir. Maybe it's not even noir. It's just whispers of seduction. So we're definitely gonna do that. That one's sexy. I actually almost wanna wear this one right now. Since it's still kind of warm out, I do want to do 100 Silent Ways. This one is beautiful in warmer weather. It is kind of like sweet syrupy. I actually wore the crap out of this one in spring. <laughs> It was like my all-time go-to spring scent. And I know it looks like I'm just grabbing off of this top shelf, but that's not the case. It's just this is a really, really, really incredible one that I haven't worn for a while. So I definitely want to make good use. Now this bad boy, uh, Les Sables Roses by Louis Vuitton. This one, oh my God, this is so good. This is like one of those deep in the fall scents. This one is absolutely amazing. I'm saving this for my October video. I am going to do Baccarat. I think Baccarat has its place in the fall collection. It's funny, I was talking to my sister about this yesterday or two days ago. I think I talked to her on the phone and we were talking about Baccarat and she said that a guy she knows was wearing it recently and I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I never smell men wearing Baccarat, but it does happen. I almost want to see how my husband, oh, this is a very crooked picture. Whoops, don't look at that. But I almost wanna like see how my husband, who this is him right here, um, I almost wanna see how he smells in Baccarat. So maybe I will also see that. But she did finish her full bottle of Baccarat x -Street. She'll probably end up buying another bottle. But anyways, I'm gonna enjoy my bottle. Um, I definitely want to do Gren Greenwich Village. Um, this one's really, really, really beautiful. I have talked about this in other videos. This was one of my husband's top scents on me, so it probably will make its way into the October video as well, um, which I'm super excited about. Uh, Tribeca is another really good fall fragrance, but I think I'm gonna save that one. We'll see how this goes. I may revisit this shelf. I have not been wearing you as much as I want to wear you. It's just a little too patchouli still. We're gonna make our way down to this shelf, and you guys already know I have been dying to wear Grease Charnel, dying to wear it. So we are gonna wear it. We're gonna do the X straight because we feel a little bit extra. Don't mind that car noisily going past. So we have the X straight here. We are also gonna do Fire at Will because I have been obsessed with Fire at Will. Like when I tell you obsessed, 
<laughs> it's, a, it's a really, really big obsession with Fire at Will. Fire at Will is so beautiful. It smells so gourmand. It's like Captain Crunch or what is it called? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's almost like everyone has their own um, interpretation of what it smells like. I think it smells kind of like Cinnabon. I don't know. It's just so good. It's very luxury smelling, but it's just really, really good. So anyways, we're going to do Fire at Will, Grease Charnel. Um, I am going to do Lost Alice. I did talk about this in a former video too. Lost Alice is just like this delicious carrot cake tea time scent. It is just really, really beautiful. Let's put that up here. And then I definitely want to do Hypnotic Poison. This one's one of my favorites for fall. Super, super seductive, super beautiful, super like cozy sweater vixen. Love it. Um, we're going to do uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier in, this isn't Le, Le, Le Mail. You guys, my freaking headache today. This one is just really pretty. Um, we're going to do this one too. I can't remember the name of it. I think it's La Belle. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to do that one. Um, we're also going to do, oh, for sure, Demi. For sure, Demi. I hope I remember where these all go because I'm going to be heartbroken when I don't remember how to reorganize this. But um, so we're going to do Demi too. Okay, so we're going to drop down to this level and we are definitely picking Angel Share. This one is all sorts of boozy, gourmand, delicious. Oh, so amazing so incredible like this just has to go into the top 15. okay so we definitely overextended ourselves on the other side um so we can only pick two i think it was two off this side so um i already want to wear calvin klein euphoria really 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 badly um but i do have to wear kaoli pink pepper sweet diamond pink pepper is incredible this one is fantastic it's rich it's spicy it's pretty it's gorgeous it needs to be in the collection so we'll just put this right here um and then oh man we may have to go back and like redo what redo the situation because now i feel like i want to wear louis rouge <laughs> i want to wear uh like there's just there's too much opus core is a really beautiful one Calvin Klein. And then also I do want to get into doing some Zerge offs this month. Um, I do want to wear a Lende. So maybe we need to like go back and refine our selection. Let's bring this over. Okay. So just for the sake of, we only have one more to work with. We're going to take whispers of seduction off and we're going to take her down too. So we can pick out three more from the other side. So I'm definitely going to be reaching for Louis Rouge. That's this guy right here. Fantastic perfume. Pretty unique. I do have to reapply it after about, I'd say after like three hours. It definitely needs to be reapplied. Three, four hours. I kind of like don't smell it. It smells very muted. Um, the bottle's really cool. It has a Louboutin heel on it. Even has like the red bottom undersiding. It's really cute. And then there's like a world on the bottle it's really really pretty it's really cool and it's even like kind of in the shape of the continents too which i think is like a cool little addition and then it has the spikes around it much like the the spikes of the actual shoes um but the smell is really incredible it's kind of like mysterious sexy definitely a great fall scent i really enjoy it um, it's not my all-time favorite, but it is a really pretty, I would, I would definitely say that these, yes, they're considered niche, but I would say they're more designer. Like, they're, I don't know, they're not really niche quality per se. It's a shoe company that's making a perfume that smells good, but it's not like what I would expect from a niche house. Typically niche houses only focus on perfume. Um, this is not a perfume made by a perfumist. You can definitely tell by smelling it, but it is a beautiful creation. So we're going to put that one in. Uh, we're going to head to, oh God, this is hard. This is very hard because I want to wear Mon Guerlain, but I've been wearing Mon Guerlain a lot actually. And you can see that the dents are growing in them. So they're just so good. Like if I could wear one for the rest of my life, I think I would definitely pick Mongrel on. 
but okay so i'm trying to decide between la capitale and Alende, but i think i'm gonna definitely do Alende. Alende is a vanilla when i first bought it i actually have a video i'll try and post the card for the video of this one um i did wear this for showings i was doing showings all day long and it smelled kind of like a candle like from walgreens walmart something like that but honestly, throughout the day, it started wearing. It was so magical. It smelled so good. It's like a pure vanilla. It is just absolutely beautiful. So this one's called Allende after Allende, Mexico, where a meteorite fell into a field of vanilla. And I just think it's just a really, really beautiful story and fragrance alike. So we're going to do that. And then we're also going to do... I also grabbed for Calvin Klein Euphoria just because it's really beautiful. I've been dying to wear this one. So that is our picks for um, September. So I'm gonna go ahead and build the tray and I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, you guys, so I did get the perfume tray out. I have animals walking next to me and being so cute over here. So I did get my perfume tray out. We're gonna go ahead and load it up. I even have my fireplace going in the background. Just like so, so excited for fall. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this all set up. So this is the beautiful fall tray collection. This is everything I'm gonna be wearing for the rest of September. I think this is a fabulous lineup. We have a little bit of the sweet, like all these kind of sweet, sexy, seductive. We have um, hyper gourmands. We have beautiful vanilla. We have, um, which I, you, like I always suggest you need to try everything um, before you buy it. Like I would definitely use like Scent Split or another decant company to try any of these before you buy them just because you don't want to buy it and then absolutely hate it and be stuck with a niche priced mistake, which can be very expensive. That being said though, is I've had a lot of niche perfumes that I ended up not liking and then later on loved. So Keep that in mind too, sometimes your taste changes, sometimes it it grows. But these are the beautiful fall scents that we will be wearing. So let me know in the comments which one would you wear first and which one would be your last day of September scent. I'm so curious to see, do you guys wear any of these? Do you love any of these? Are some of these like your favorite scent? Which ones of these have you been dying to wear that you haven't been wearing much in summer i'm so curious let me know down in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next video bye angels